Hi, I'm Georgia Williams, and this is your monthly energy update. The month started with Chemical Australia receiving some favorable news. The Western Australian Court of Appeal ruled in its favor regarding some environmental permits for the Urelli Uranium Project. The appeal had been launched earlier this year by a local environmental group after the federal government had approved the Western Australian Uranium Miners Project. Despite the positive ruling, Cameco said it would take its time to develop what is believed to be the largest untapped uranium deposit in the country. Depressed spot prices and reaction to the American Section 232 investigation continue to weigh on the sector, with several producers releasing statements regarding President Trump's decision to not implement a domestic quota and instead convene another nuclear examination group. UR Energy offered a positive outlook and said that it was looking forward to working with the new nuclear exploratory group. While well, Aramai Resources was less optimistic, citing the continued uncertainty the president's decision, or lack thereof, is creating. Later in the month, Kazataprom, Kazakhstan's national uranium producer, announced that it was going to be cutting production by 20% through 2021. The company, which is the largest uranium producer, believes market oversupply warrants a restricted approach and hopes that the situation corrects itself in the future. The current U308 spot price is $25.30 per pound. Now let's switch over to the oil and gas sector. As Canadians gear up to head to the ballot box in October, three natural gas producers are calling on all Canadians to consider the country's energy future at the polling station. In an open letter, the CEOs acknowledge the challenges the world is facing regarding climate change and call on more innovation in the energy sector. This is the second time in as many weeks that there has been an open letter issued by the oil and gas sector in Canada. In mid-July, nine CEOs from natural gas companies in Alberta issued an open letter calling on Premier Jason Kenney to exhibit bold leadership in regards to helping stabilize the natural gas prices. Producers are calling for a freeze on royalties and self-implemented production cuts to help bolster the price. Internationally, trade tensions between Beijing and China continue to weigh on the oil and gas sector. The price of crude saw some positive movement after President Trump indicated that a resolution may be close at hand on the 26th. Our Vancouver resource team also headed over to the Sprott Conference in August where they spoke with sector analysts as well as companies regarding the current state of the market and the ongoing trade wars. You can find all of that content on our website. That's it for the energy sector. Make sure to check back next month to find out what happened in September. In the meantime, you can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube.